all right uh, thank you for joining us once again at matoka tv studio all right in this video you're about to watch right now apostle Alimosai said something concerning minister to your flood sunday that will shock you and i show you this clip is going to bless your life all right over to you sir medical check you say okay your days of coke uh, uh, that was a most heartbreaking news so i had to change my diet and all of that and that's why i'm looking the stomach uh -huh, has, yeah, I actually feel more alive, actually. So, and I had to, I like sweet things, you know? Sweet, anything sweet, just, ah, this is life. <laughs> then after that lecture from the doctor, all the sweet things are off. Fortunately for my wife, she doesn't have my challenges, so I see her drinking my Coke. It's, uh, it's a sobering experience. <laughs> Your taste buds will change. Your appetite will change. Then you begin to realize that the way God does what he does in your life is through what we call saturation. I will explain. The reason why fornication is a, is a terrible thing is because fornication has the capacity, the ability to deflate your saturation. And no matter how powerful your car is, some of you came with Range Rovers, you came with G wagons. No matter how powerful your car is, you know the situation when you are faced with a deflated tire, you need to jack the car. And that's why someone that is now exposed to the spirit of immorality, all right, should he doesn't need a microphone, he needs help. Because he needs to be jacked up. It might take eight months before the person is inflated again. And if you decide not to inflate, you'll be running on rims. It has happened to me before. My own rims broke. And a lot of ministers are running on rims. Fighting to keep the mic. When what you need is intensive care unit of the grace of God. You are deflated. If you stay in deflation for too long, people that know the realm will know that you are no longer attending meetings. The way Theophilus blessed us today, if I know Theophilus a lot, if Theophilus diminishes, I will know. Any day. Say, hmm. You have shrunk. And what that means, it means a, a lot. Something has accessed you are deflated. Do you realize that if you inherit an anointing, okay, maybe something leaves my life and comes into your life, the only way you can nurture it is through that saturation. Yes. As you are saturated by God and you are walking like that, sometimes it might take two years and then the thing will begin to bear fruit. So people that want to hit their mark in God, they are allergic to fornication. I know warlocks and wizards that will not sleep with a woman that is not their wife because of their consecration to their idol. And the Bible says that if your righteousness does not exceed that of the Pharisees. So you want to go into those territories and you want to disseminate the kingdom of darkness no you, you are not as submitted to light as they are submitted to darkness when God is interested in you huh? it's a positive thing but it's not an easy thing it means you'll be demanding sacrifice from you regularly and you can no longer live a normal life the life other people live and they call life, you can no longer live it. You will, if, 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 if you are wise, you will separate yourself from the way people know life and you separate yourself unto him. He will not give you what life means. Just like I can see the Coke, I can no longer drink. You will see many things that you can no longer do. 
he will strip you of the authority to do what you want he likes being in charge he likes being in control he likes being the one calling the shots but you know what you will get in return the day there is crisis and you say in the name of Jesus everything will stand still he will prove to you in public that he has something with you just you know Peter invoked something he said such as I have it means I have something with Jesus he demanded to squander from that account that was what he that man so the authority that you carry is a proof of the number of deaths you have died and if every one of us know that this journey leads to an altar of sacrifice we will wear a different mind when we come in pursuit of God God is angry and the reason why he's angry is because he has been misrepresented and his people have been led astray the people know the funfair of church they know the language the cliche in our company but they don't know the journey the journey that he has invited each believer to be partakers of that journey they do not know so when we do big meetings in Benway State we kill so many cows, goats, and I see the meat because it's in my house that they cook it, but I cannot eat. They'll be frying fish. It's so the, the scent is everywhere, but that's the life of a priest. It's very lonely. Yeah. Many of you were not told. When they say ministry, you say, hey! When he gets, that one you were doing, I, 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 was, I was teaching for about eight years. Eh? Then he now came one day and said, okay, teach now. So, oh, so. <laughs> what was I doing? There is a part with no foul, know it. Which the vultures' eyes have not seen. The lion's worms have not trodden it. Not the fierce lions pass by it. He put it forth his hands upon the rocks. He overturned the mountains by the roots. He cutted out rivers among the rocks, and his eyes see it every precious thing. He binded the floors from overflowing, and the thing that is hidden bring it he forth to life the lord comes today to invite you to that path and a path is a road that only one man can walk on part time 